Hello guys. So today we will learn about the Microwin 3.8. One more software is DSCH. It is with Microwin only where we can draw the schematic diagram. Previously we saw that we have drawn the layout of CMOS inverter and today we will draw the schematic diagram of CMOS inverter. So as you can see I have selected already PMOS and NMOS and uh, we will connect this to using wire okay you can see there are different options okay uh, we will select add in line and we will connect this port to and we will connect this port and okay so this is our CMOS in Symmetric. We will connect VDD. Okay. And uh, we can assign different values of VDD here. I have assigned 5. And we can change the name of VDD also. Okay. Whatever you want. Uh, VDD and ground. Assign 1 ground. So we have to connect output and input you can see here so we will connect output in output in output we will connect one LED okay I have connected one LED and uh, in input side we will connect one VDD only VDD is just like DC voltage okay we can connect it okay so my CMOS schematic is completed here as you can see value of VDD is uh, 5 volt only we can change its name or its title okay again we in We will keep this as VDD only and we will lock this. Okay. Title will be V in. Okay. 5 volt. Not an issue. Now. Or uh, we can do one more thing. We can connect clock also. Clock means just pulse. Sine wave or some square wave just the clock so here it's stays at zero it is in nanosecond different different time in nanosecond we can assign this known as clock or uh, we can rename it also so we have to rename it here uh, in place of clock one we will give v in and we will give title as clk one only not an issue so this is our V in and uh, as our circuit is completed we will run the simulation okay you can see I have run the simulation this is different pin state at different pin state we can see our LED is glowing our in what is our input what are the pins everything you can see here okay this is our CMOS now we will go to timing diagram you can see 0 and 1 0 is the input and 1 is the output you can see the timing analysis clearly here ok we will save this ok we have to save in different directory Foundry is uh, we can select a different foundry also, but here it's not an issue Okay, not much variation Selecting different foundry also We will save this one Okay, I will save it in different folder okay, I will go in this PC, VLSI design, 
experiment workspace and this file is dot sch file cmos inverter dot sch file this is a semantic file okay it was developed in dsch 3.8 it comes under micro window only okay now we will generate a spice file okay the spice file is nothing but the command list of the semantic what we have drawn here as you can see i have generated a spice file left hand side is the command list just like programming only you can see v in it is connected between 2 and 0 the type is ac dc is 0 and it is in the form of pulse the pulse is going from 10 second till 21 nanosecond like that and the steps are 0.1 like that it is given and here you can see width is 0.5 length is 0.05 micrometer it is everything in micro mp1 is the pmos mn1 is the nmos and its width and length every node is shown what is vdd node it is node 1 everything is shown here so netlix is nothing just the command semantic what we have drawn in the form of command okay so here we can change the frequency in linear or we want to plot in linear or in db everything we can change okay so we have the netlix we even can save this netlix in the form of text and we can use different at different stages okay now i am using this dynamic cmos the previous one was the static and this is the dynamic as you can see i have attached one more and mos here and one clock more okay so this is the diagram of our dynamic cmos inverter and uh, i am going to generate the spice file of this and we will see its output okay so you understand this command this is your responsibility to understand each and every command i am not going to explain it i think you have learned in your theory classes or you will learn see one more node and mos is at s so it is at node 5 you can see or out one is at node 3 everything you, it is listed here so this is our spice netlex you can see this netless is very important thing so try to understand each and every command whatever mentioned it's in netless okay so that so right now we will go for ac analysis dc analysis or transient analysis whatever we want so for spice file we have to change the spice directory spice dot lib file we have to select c folder program files in microwin dsch system there you will find spice dot lib that you have to give the path and you have to update the spice file then you have to run win spice win spice is third party software it is integrated to microwin so here you can see there are three outputs sorry one output and two inputs so here you can't see which one is which means v4 is in green color there is v3 and v5 okay one in red color one in purple color one in green color okay so they are different different node voltages how can you will know that this voltage belongs to this node means we have given one v input we have given one clock and we got one output so we have to analyze according to the input whether we got the correct output or not so this is a transient analysis output got it so this is here you can check in spice netlex you can verify that uh, what node what voltage we are getting on what node what voltage 
we have to see okay so by running this or by circuit using this circuit you can verify whether you are getting the right output or not this is your homework you have to analyze this and you have to explain it in your lab report how this circuit is working and why it is working like this okay so here you can see these are the netflix one is pmos and two are nmos okay so you have to see on which voltage is on which node okay you have to do some research on this there are different different node according to that in wind spice it is mentioned v3 v2 and v4 so which voltage belongs to which node you have to see that okay then only you can analyze the output which are the input and which are the output you have to analyze in this wind spice output then you will understand the figure got it okay so that's all for today this is the static and dynamic cmos output even you can see the output for uh, i haven't shown output for static cmos but same way you can see the output because i have shown the timing diagram of static cmos that's why i haven't gone to wind spice here we can go to the wind spice that's why we ha i have shown the transient analysis in wind spice there is one more thing ac analysis you have to do that also ac analysis okay you have to verify the ac analysis output okay vtc curve and this is how we perform our experiment static and dynamic cmos inverter okay that's all for today thank you thank you very much